today we're going to be putting St. Croix up against G. Loomis. I personally don't think it's going to be much of a competition, <laughs> but we're going to be going at it. St. Croix versus G. Loomis. We are both going to be using the exact same setup in regards to the jig with an artificial gulp with a stinger hook. Right, so we got a three quarter ounce VMC Moon Eye jig, four inch Berkeley split, minnow. Oh, I'm, I'm going with the gulp, which is still made by Berkeley, okay. but mine, are, mine is also four inch. You're using a little bit of a darker color. I'm going with the traditional gray white. Uh, in regards to the reels, we're both using the Shimano Van Ford. 3,000? 3,000. So it's basically rod versus rod. Yeah, so the rods, I've got here the G Loomis GCX 7-1 extra fast action. Uh, and my rod is the St. Croix Legend Tournament 6 foot 8 medium action extra fast. This is my clicker. Reset it to zero. Okay, zeros guys. Zero. You're on zero. Don't cheat on me, Loomis. <laughs> Loomis doesn't need cheating. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of time here. Two hours. Two hours. We're going to jig this area. We've got a lot of walleye in here, some really big hooks on bottom. And let's see, I think the G Loomis is going to outfish the St. Croix all day long. Stay tuned. We'll find out. First fish is for Team St. Croix. Beautiful walleye. Very nice walleye here. Let me spin him around. He did hit me twice. Oh, there you go. Good fish. First fish of the challenge. And uh, I think we're gonna be catching a lot more of these this evening. So stay tuned for more action. So we get a lot of comments on social media in regards to rods and you don't need those high end rods. I can catch them on an ugly stick. I, I'm not gonna dispute that. But what you don't get out of an ugly stick or a lower end rod is that sensitivity exactly and we've actually done a comparison between a uh, lower end shimano rod uh and even a high tech yeah which is the most cost effective uh type of rod you can get it's like a 20 dollar 30 dollar rod and there's absolutely no comparison as you would expect from a, a 20 dollar rod to a 300 dollar rod you know um absolutely no comparison so will they catch fish yes you're able to catch fish but are you able to tell the difference between soft bottom hard bottom whether you're on on a mud flat or, or bouncing on rocks or whatnot definitely you not picked up a weed or a leaf yeah and do you have that sensitivity in 40 50 60 feet of water you know i we were out jigging the bar in the uh, in the early spring, mm -hmm. I think I was in 90 feet of water, and I could feel that leaf that I had picked up. Yeah, on a, on a one ounce jig. Exactly. And that that's what makes the difference, right there. Right. It's it's the quality of your rod that'll ultimately give you the the best sensation when, especially when jigging, guys. So we have made a move. Slightly bigger water, deeper water, uh, and we'll see. It's still one nothing for St. Croix. Oh, Johnny's on. Oh, 
Oh, I just dropped one. Right when I was going to say 1-1. One, one. Johnny's on fish number two. He takes the lead. On the stinger. Stinger. Yep. On that stinger hook, guys. There you go. That makes it a tie. Two apiece. I think there's going to be much closer than we expected. Go. A little male. He goes. Good fish. Nice fish? Yeah, this is a. Uh, feels like a nice one. Johnny's gonna take the lead here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he hammered you. Hammered it. Well, that makes it. When you get your third. Oh, I dropped mine! I was gonna say, we get our third. You got two angles here back and front. You guys are front with me, Donnie's at the back. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, better fish, gal. Need the net? Ah, uh, nope. Better fish? Better fish. Much better fish. Okay, that is four. Four. And look guys, look what he just spit out. You can see what he's eating. A little added scent. We are using the mayhem. Johnny, you just put some on? Yeah, I got a little bit of mayhem on there. Perfect. Just a little bit along the sides. Just like that. Rub it in a little bit. This is very, very potent stuff. There we go. Another one? Another one. Oh man. He's taking a big lead on us, guys. We're only at five. This is his eight. Oh, I dropped him. Oh. Oh, don't drop him, Gary. I know. This is where having a nice quality reel really pays off because that drag is smooth as butter and you could really, really feel the difference. Hey, Johnny? Yeah, and that's something where our opinions may differ when it comes to rod. But when it comes to the reel, this one's a lively one. That's, that's a nice fish. I have other spinning reels. I, uh, this is my favorite. Beautiful walleye. Nose dive right in, and off he goes. Johnny, you're at eight? Yeah, I'm at eight. I'm at Drop him, don't drop him. Need this fish. Need this fish. Can't drop him. I'm keeping that fish in. Oh there man. Oh! You dropped him? I dropped him both sides. Oh, oh I no. Both sides. Oh, no. For those of you guys in southern Ontario, more specifically in Toronto, give JBs a call if you're looking for any of this. Uh, good quality stuff, St. Croix, G. Loomis, Brian and Steve. Those are guys that uh, that really know their stuff and treat you well. Hey, Johnny? Absolutely. And if you're in the, if you're looking to get G. Loomis in the Golden Horseshoe, Bill's Baits, St. Oh, Croix as well. Another nice fish here, Johnny. Nice. And uh, also, Peter's tackle in St. Catharines. Angelo, take care of you. There's a fish. Look at this fish, buddy. 
Oh, that's a beautiful one. Beautiful fish. Yeah. It's just double header after double header here. Don't forget to add one to your clicker. Once they get them in. St. Croix, we're at eight. Team St. Croix. On that stinger. That was, a, that was the nicest fish of the day for me, that one. Yep. How many are you at, Johnny? That's 10. I'm at eight. That's what, 17 fish, between 18 fish between the two of us? Yeah. Three or four double headers. Yeah. That's fish number 16, let's go. I'm ingesting the trolling motor. Oh, I just missed one. There you go. Right on the top. Right on the top of his mouth, guys. That ties it up. And back in he goes. Oh, there we go. Yes, don't drop this fish. Right when I get the tie, don't you pull ahead. Fish. Go. This is number 18 for G. Loomis. Right when St. Croix gets the tie, G. Loomis pulls ahead. Or 19? 18. Let's go. He almost had the tie there, guys. I had it for about 30 <laughs> seconds, not even. Came into this spot at minus one. Right now, plus one. Oh, drop him. Lucky buddy. <laughs> oh, he came back. He came back. He came back. He came back for me. This is a heavier fish, buddy. Oh, I just missed one. Nice fish. Where is he? Okay, swinging him in the boat. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, every time I tie it up, you just get one back. Oh! Oh! At the boat! Oh! I think if you would bring them over the gunnel, yeah, that yeah, counts. Yeah. It counts. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. It is. It is a tie, Johnny. Oh. I had to work my way back from a four fish deficit. Come on, G. Loomis. Oh, I dropped him. You dropped him? I dropped one. They usually come back, though. I haven't had the lead in nearly 20 fish here. There we go. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Feels like a much nicer fish, brother. Really? Yeah. Oh, 
because it is. Because is it, it is. Is it? Yes, you need sir. the name? Nope. Oh, what a beauty. That takes the lead. Oh, there we oh, go. Buddy. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, the stinger. That takes the lead by one. It is 19, 18. G. Lou missing the lead by one, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that walleye, guys. It is oh, 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 yes. Johnny yes. just got 21. Let's go. Did I click my 20? Yes, I did. Guys, it's close. Johnny's fighting 21. I'm at 20. It goes up to 25. Yes. On the stinger. Oh. Oh. What happened? Shook me off. Yeah, but you were in the boat. We're going to have to review that footage, judges. He was in the boat. You had he him was, over the gunnel, did he you? Was, uh, he was over the gunnel, but he didn't bounce off when he flipped out. Ooh. That's okay. We're gonna, Team St. Croix is going to give Team G. Loomis that fish. 21. Gallo just got another one. You're going right back. Give me my gulp. 21 guys, four fish to go. 21, 21. It literally doesn't get any closer than this. There we go. Oh my yes. Oh, name. I dropped him. You dropped him? I dropped him. It is oh, 21, guys. 21. There we go, he came back. Oh no, he came back. Yes! 22. Oh my goodness. Open your mouth, buddy. 22, guys. 22. Let's go. Three, Three more, more fish. for Johnny. Three more oh, fish. No, it doesn't get any closer than this. <laughs> Three more fish for all my G. Loomis fans. I just dropped 22, oh. John just dropped 23. You saw that, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, he came back. Yes, on the stinger. On the stinger? On the stinger. Oh man, this is a close race here. I'm at 22, Johnny? 23? 23. Oh my goodness. He needs two more fish. I need three. There we go. Oh my god. 24. Oh my goodness. Number 24. Let's go. Let's go. Got to get him into the boat. Oh, this is a good fish too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great, beautiful fish, yeah, Johnny. Beautiful. <laughs> Woo. Oh, no. Woo. 24 right oh, there. Oh, buddy. What am I at? 22. I need three more before you catch 25. Fish. Yeah. It doesn't get any closer than this, but now you've taken quite a significant lead right at the end. What a close battle. But it's not over till the last walleye is in the boat. Till 25. Fish 25 for either is in the boat. There's bottom. I haven't got a hit in a few casts, Johnny, actually. Oh, there we 
we go. Oh my we goodness. Go. Can I get him to the pool? He's got him. He's gonna get him. Number Fish 25. 25. Oh, nice. man. Team G Loomis by Loomis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, that wraps it up, Johnny. All right, guys. So that is our G Loomis versus St. Croix rod challenge. Yep. Um, it was close. It was a tight race. Very close. Once we came out to bigger, deeper water, you just took over there. We had to find the fish, and once we found the fish, uh, it was close, guys. It was Very close. close. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have what it takes this evening. I caught 22 walleye representing St. Croix. G. Loomis with 25 walleye. 25 walleye. So combined, we caught 47 walleye in just under an hour and a half off of one drop guys off one drop well there you have it either way uh whether you're a g loomis fan or a st croix fan whether you get into the entry level rods or you buy the more expensive rods personally i think you can't go wrong with either choice um and the sensitivity is by far by far a very crucial aspect of jigging for walleye or pitching a jig it is absolutely crucial to be able to feel that bottom and the lightest of bites and i think both rods really really excel in in that area yeah guys i don't think you can go wrong buying either a g loomis or a saint croix it really comes down to personal preference but get out there and try one i promise you you won't go back to a lower end rod after fishing with one of these i think it's time to run it back let's <laughs> <play> back. <laughs>